All right, so I have here some uh, tires. Let's look at them. Uh, these are Kenda Kitty ones. All right. This one is a um, 120-70-12. This is also a Kenda Kitty one. One thirty seventy twelve. So L speed rating. Same with this one, L speed rating. So I think L speed rating is good for I believe seventy five miles an hour, somewhere around there. Uh, but anyways, I got these tires for uh, for my monkey because the monkey comes comes with like some goofy tires. Um, I'm not sure what brand they are. Uh, the main difference between this size and the original monkey size is the profile. So this, these are 70s. The width is the same. The front, rear, the width is the same, but the, the profile is 70. The monkey comes with 80 profile tires. And uh, you really can't get the 80, 80 profile, at least not in a, uh, like a street tire. You know, they, they come like a, come with like a, uh, a dual sport type tires. I mean, I guess that's a street tire, but, but I mean, I want like a street, street tire, you know, not, not, not a, not a semi knobby like a dual sport tire is so so I got these this size so so this size is a, a lot more available as far as sizes or excuse me uh, not sizes um, choices of tires uh, I got these ones because you know I've, I've I've been running these the Kendas on my scooter for uh, you know for uh, oh geez how long has it been now for over a year now um, gone through several several uh, front tires on, on my uh, scooter for the last year plus uh, year year and a half or whatever it is now and they work great they're fantastic they're almost as good as the uh, Dunlop uh, GP what is it GP 93 TTs but at half the price basically so yeah so I'm gonna put these on well, I'm actually probably gonna feel how the, the original monkey tires are but chances are I'm gonna put these on because these are gonna be way grippier these are meant for, for you know mini bike racing basically uh, or scooter racing <clears throat> uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh it with my little park tool classical uh, uh, scale there so let me um, let me set this up real quick uh, move this bench over the truck Put it up on the tripod here, or on the up on the bench. Um, let's do the let's do the um, the uh, 120 70 12 first. So let's take off these goofy little. Actually, these I like these things. These things are great for uh, keeping the the tires spread when the the, the beads spread. I should say when the beads are spreaded. And stay spread. They are easy to mount on a on a wheel. You know when when you're setting the bead. You know, um, and when you initial after you mount the, the the tires and that that initial pumping up is very difficult for uh, for some tires, especially when the the bead is crushed together. But when they're wider, like that, and with with these little cardboard things, spacers, um, they would be much better. All right, so these these are the 120s, uh, 120 width. So I have my uh, I have my uh, my scale here. Let me zero it out. So that's pounds, ounces. So let's do that. Seven 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 pounds, seven ounces. Zero it out. Do it again. Just to make sure I have a, a consistency, seven, seven oh six. Seven oh seven. All right, so that's one. And here's the other one. This is the uh, one thirty uh, width. Let's zero it out. Oops. Heck. Zero it out. <clears throat> so 
715. Take it off. Zero it again. Seven fourteen. Take it off. And zero again. Seven fourteen. So there you go. So those are the the, uh, the weights. Um, yeah. So two tires. So here I'm getting all the other stuff for my monkey already, and I haven't even got the monkey yet. The monkey is supposed to. The dealer called me. Uh, they called me. What was it? Two days ago, and they told me it'll probably be here on. Uh, this coming Monday, basically, so so beginning of next week. So hopefully, I get it. I get it then, and we'll pick it up then. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I don't think I need to review these. I think I, you know, I re I reviewed these these tires on my scooter, uh, and these these things are fantastic. Yeah, like I said, they are they're just about as good as the Dunlop uh, GP ninety three TTs um, in every aspect. Um, how well they grip, how well they break, how well they, um, how long they last, etc. The only downside to them compared to the to the Dunlops, but when you're at the very edge and you're like cornering really hard, then that's where the Dunlop will be better than these. Uh, otherwise, in all other regards, they're equal to the, to the Dunlops. The best thing is that you know they have the price. So for uh, for street, you know, for street use, for street use, these uh, these tires are you know, they can't be beat. Better than, than anything else out there, uh, you know. Uh, for sure, using better than anything out there in their size. Uh, the other, the other tires choice in this size that's good also is the uh, Mission Boppers, and I really like the Mission Boppers too. Those are those are fantastic tires as well, but you know they're more expensive. These tires are only um, it's about forty dollars each, so the the, the one thirty is a little bit over forty. I think it's like forty one, and the one twenty is I think. Uh, 39 so you know so about 40 bucks each whereas the Michelin boppers there those things are over 50 bucks each they're just over 50 bucks each um, so you're looking at you know ten dollars more you know just over ten dollars more per per tire so that's twenty dollars right there uh, I'm not, I've never had mission boppers in this size before so I so I can't say as far as you know how much they weigh and stuff but I know that mission boppers are pretty light you know, when I had them on my uh, when I had them on the ruckus a long time ago, you know, 15 years ago, um, they were really light tires. Uh, they were like the lightest tires in the size, but at the same time, those tires, those boppers, they're kind of they're kind of uh, narrow. You know, whenever whatever size you get, uh, you know, whatever size they say it is, it, they seem to be a little bit more narrow than uh, you know others of the same size. So I think I think they're just a little bit smaller compared to other brands of the same size. So I, that's probably one of the reasons why they're, they're a little bit lighter as well. But you know, the boppers are kind of old. You know, they've been around for like, I don't know, 20 years or whatever. So the, uh, the rubber compound, um, I mean, it's a good rubber compound. You know, it's, they're basically using sport, sport bike tire rubber compound, or at, at least for that time from 20, 20 years ago. And it's still good today for, for you know, for small bike scooters and such. Uh, but this one is, you know, this, this these kitty ones came out to, um, only um, only like a little bit over a year ago, like a year and a half ago. They they came out, so the compound is pretty new. Uh, you know, tire technology, uh, especially rubber compounds, they advance really fast. I mean, even five years difference. There's there's a difference. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching.